Minecraft. It's more of Ooh Spooky on Halloween. A second episode of Exploration and Tactics. And once again, I won't kind of pre-record anything for the little intro. Or hopefully not, because I think I actually fixed my microphone, microphone sounds this time. But we are going to go to the nether. I've got invisibility potions. I've got night vision potions. I intend to take out torches because people were suggesting that I would have more of the wither skeletons and other mobs possibly spawn in the fortress when the fortress is dark. Uh, but with my night vision potions, I'll be able to see everything. And yeah, so let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead, hop into my nether portal, uh, take the train over to the fortress, and I'll see you guys over there. Alright, so we're over at the fortress. And, as usual, I'm getting some lag in the nether because Minecraft. Um, but we are going to grab, we are going to drink this happy night vision potion. Oops. Oh, wow. The nether is so lit up. That's so crazy. And then I'm going to just start taking all the torches out of the fortress. Actually, not all of them, because some of them I have as kind of directional markers. But I have never seen the nether all lit up. Oh, wow. Just looking out the windows. Oh, it looks so weird. I'm going to have to go. There's a place where you get up on, like, the roof of the fortress right over here. And I just want to take a look out over on the nether when everything is at light level 15. Oh, there's zombie pigmen with... Pumpkins on their heads. Oh, I'm glad we came to the nether today. Wow, look at this. The nether looks crazy when it's all lit up. I guess it's kind of like the fog distance is like a red haze that's bright red or something as well. That's just really crazy. And yeah, nether brick or whatever you call this stuff is definitely still a very dark dark brick entity, whatever it is I'm trying to say. Uh, even when everything's all lit up, it's a very dark color. That's what I'm trying to say. But wow, this would be a good way to spot fortresses, because I know it's the case. I mean, this always happens, because my monitor brightness is typically not turned up as much as other people's monitor brightness is, and so I often don't see things on the screen that you all then see in a video. But I know when I was first looking for nether fortresses back in... I guess they were added in, like, Minecraft 1.0 or whatever, like, the first time I went to a nether, there was a nether fortress on the screen over in the corner, and I didn't see it, because uh, it was just so dark over in the corner, but, like, yeah, now if you were using a night vision potion... Alright, I'm gonna leave these torches, because these are directional torches, uh, whose purpose, basically, is to... I see all light sources have a red U to them, because the... Although it kind of goes away as I get closer to them, but like in the distance, like the torches had kind of a red U to them. It's pretty weird. All right, and I need to remember, I'm going to drink, I'm not going to drink it, but I'm going to have a potion. Actually, I don't need a water bottle. I'm going to have a potion of invisibility on the bar as well. Um, we could use that to just kind of walk around the nether, presumably, and not have to deal with... I wonder if spawners... I guess you just have to be within 16 blocks. You don't have to have line of sight in order to ignite a spawner. So I don't think invisibility is going to interact with spawners. I'm not even going to bother to test that and spawn a bunch of blazes, because that'll just lag up the game and whatnot. But I am going to go ahead and take out all of these torches in the hopes that then I will have some more of these withering skeletons appearing. I hear some blazes over here already that I just spawned. And see if we end up seeing some of these withering skeletons, because apparently there are some drops that they give that I haven't gotten yet. So far, the only thing I've ever gotten killing them. I wonder if they will have pumpkins on their heads today as well. The zombie pigman with the pumpkin on his head was pretty funny. All the mobs with this... I guess it was just zombies and skeletons with pumpkins on their heads were pretty funny as well. The just pumpkin and jack-o'-lantern? Wow, lava takes forever to go away. I'll leave the lava there. It'll get dark there eventually. Um... I'm also easily amused, in case you didn't know. But I wonder if the withering skeletons, since they're skeletons, I wonder if they'll have pumpkins on their head as well. Although they're bigger than skeletons, since I don't know if the pumpkin head would fit, unless it was, like, scaled up or something. I heard one. Or I heard a footstep. I think it was one of those skeletons, though. I think it had a clank to it. Hmm. 
I, oh, maybe it was just a zombie pigman. I don't know. I'm so terrified of them, even though I managed to kill them very easily. All right, that was just a zombie pigman. Go ahead and walk around, pigman. All right, that is just what your footsteps sound like. You really need to learn the footsteps of the zombie pigman and all the other mobs. Yeah, the nether just has a weird haze with night vision. I guess if everything's on fire, I need to try this out in the end as well. I didn't think of that. If everything's on fire, like, I guess it would overload. Like, think about how night vision works, and it's like heat vision, and the nether is on fire and hot or something, that it makes sense that it would just kind of overload over a distance or something. Okay, there's some more. Yes, it's a wither skeleton, and he's got a pumpkin head. So that is hilarious and scary, all bottled up into one. All right, but maybe he'll finally give me another drop. And no drop. Darn it. All right, but I did spawn another one, and so perhaps the strategy of taking out the torches is helping, maybe? I'm going to keep on taking out torches, because I think the other times that I ran into the wither skeletons, it was the case that they were in dark areas. It was over in this portion of the fortress that I hadn't lit up yet. And so that is promising. And I can also just listen for the clanks. Um, I could... Yeah, I guess let's also do this. Let's take out the torches here to get rid of light from that and just use... Oops. Some dirt blocks that are pointing in an arrow is kind of my directional thing to remind me how to get back to an area. Okay, there was another blaze spawner over there. But now I've darkened kind of like this whole area, and so now let's just kind of walk back and forth and see. I heard a skeleton. I think it was a normal skeleton. Pretty sure I just heard a skeleton. All right, I don't hear him here. He could either be down here, or he might be up above. And I spawn. I think the blazes are back. Oh, no! There's just a blaze. Yikes. Um... I do have a fire resist potion if I need it, but I also have had success. There's there's a, the withering skeleton. And he's like trapped. Or his head is stuck, but he's not suffocating. Interesting. So is he actually... Oh, there's two... Oh my goodness. And they are stuck. As far as I can tell. Does that make... That makes them easy to kill. This one dropped a bone. And that one, yeah, still only a bone. Interesting. And so it's kind of funny that they spawned here. I guess they're what I heard. And so I guess they make the clanking noise. And did my, I think my night vision ran out. Yeah, my night vision ran out. And now it's very dark. And so let's drink that again. I've got three of them, so I'll get like 24 minutes in here. Let's see... Because apparently, do I have to, like, kill them a certain way? Like, I've killed the five or six of these crazy black skeletons. And I haven't gotten a drop from, other than a bone, from any of them yet. But I thought the comments that you guys left suggested that there were possibly even two other drops that these guys would have. All right, I might make a cut and just go into a montage of trying to kill some of these guys and see if we actually get another drop. I am honestly curious about killing... Oh! This zombie pigman sword is enchanted. It's like glowing gold. And then there's one with a pumpkin head over there. I'm honestly, I'm curious about killing them. Um, but I'm not sure that I can live through it. Actually, if I fence myself in... All right, this is a danger, but... I'm trying to make entertainment videos, and we have to do it for science. Um, and so I'm going to attempt to give myself a better shot of staying alive. But let's try to hit the... All right, they're all coming after me. I am successfully fenced in, and so hopefully I can kill them all off. But I'm really curious about the pumpkin head one. All right, will you drop a pumpkin? Oops, ouch. All right, and they do, even with my armor, they hit me for like two. All right, a gold sword, I think, is what they dropped before. And it's partially used up, but it's actually in pretty good shape. 
And now, unfortunately, I think this guy probably, yes, is still angry at me. This is the guy with the enchanted sword. I'm going to let him hit me once. Ouch. And that hit for three. Okay, and so that hit for more, and unfortunately, I didn't get a drop from him. So it appears that his enchanted sword was not merely ornamental decoration, but actually functional. Uh, I see another blaze over there, too. I think I'm far enough away. Oops, ouch. Hit me for two and a half. I don't think his sword is enchanted. But yeah, I'm worried about uh, not being able to fight off all the bad guys. Zombie pigmen hit pretty hard already. Not as hard as they do in pig roulette in that one area of uncharted territory where they had strength potions as well. Blurb, blurb, blurb. All right, I'm getting off track. I'm going to try to... Is this zombie Pikmin angry at me? Or does he see me? Yes, he is. Crap. Alright, yeah, I've got a bunch of zombie Pikmin after me, actually, now. I need to really be careful. Alright, I can do that because they're stupid. And then I can fend them off here, and apparently there's a blaze over here as well. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm attracting a lot of unwanted attention. Ooh. And there's something down here, possibly. Hold on. And I'm getting off topic, like, there's too many things to experiment with at once. I just wanted to kill some more wither skeletons. Oh, that's just kind of like the decoration of the nether. All right. Hopefully, over time, the pigmen will forgive me. But maybe I ought to leave this as a way that I can kind of quickly escape. I wonder if I should... Oh, crap, 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 crap! <laughs> All right, the good news is pigmen are stupid in terms of navigation. Uh, the bad news is they hit really hard. I could try closing that back up, but this is a very dangerous situation to be in. Let's see if I can close up the holes in the ceiling and try to keep it where the pigmen aren't going to be able to get to me. All right, the window there is not big enough for them to get in anymore. These pigmen see me, but they don't always know how to jump because they're idiots. Um, there's only two of them here. Oh, he just glitched through the block. Oh, he's not actually there. Idiot pigmen. Um, it's only the two of you. Let's do... Oops, oh, here, there we go. <laughs> I hear pigmen all around, but I'm not sure if you always hear pigmen all around when you kill a pigman. I think that might just be the normal sound effects. I don't know. All right, let's eat some food. All right, and then I'm gonna... Oh, I'm running out of blocks. Do I have other blocks? I have some netherrack. Netherrack is everywhere. I'll just start using netherrack. Um, I'm gonna wreck some more walls around here so that I can keep myself a little bit safer. And then I hear... I guess that's pigmen footsteps again. All right, I'll make another cut. All right, I hear a couple of gas, and I'm about to get to an open area of the nether. I'm going to drink another night vision, because my night vision ran out. And then I'm also going to drink invisibility. And then the goal here will be to see if we can... Oh, except for I'm wearing armor. Darn it. I'm going to take off my armor, as risky as though that may be. And basically go see if I can find some gas and see if the gas starts shooting at me. I presume that if they're going to behave now like all the rest of the mobs, and I think perhaps I'm far enough away or I haven't had pigmen chasing after me in a while, and so hopefully the pigmen have forgiven me. But can I get up on the roof over here and possibly... Oh, this isn't an open roof up here, is it? No. Let me get to an open area. I think there's one kind of down and then up over here. And try to get some gas in view. Oops, just had a chunk error for a moment. All right, here's a pig man who can't even see me, presumably. All right, does anyone see a gas? I guess I can get up on the roof over here. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Bippity boppity boo. Ooh, I need to make sure if I do see gas that they don't start exploding up here by my nether portal. All right, rats, not encountering any ghasts. Let's try not to fall off. 
Also try to stay out of the soul sand and just explore a bit of the nether. Please don't push me around, Pigman. Where are the ghasts? I want to find a ghast before my invisibility potion wears off. Um, gosh, it's still hard to see much distance into the nether. I did some digging around in the past over here. Oh, right. I couldn't get much of anywhere, though. I think there's another open area through here. It's been so long since... No, this is going to be a big mess. Let's go a different way. Let's go back and... I think possibly over where my rail cart goes in the enclosed area, we might get over to an open area of the nether and see some ghasts. Um, except for I don't have a good way back in there. I don't want to break the glass right now. All right, I'll make a cut and go find a ghast. All right, I saw a ghast over here. I've just been traveling kind of back and forth. I just saw one. Yeah, there he is. Cool, and I'm invisible, and the ghast does not see me. I do not have a power one bow. Uh, and so presumably, stay there. If I hit him once, assuming I could even hit him, of course the arrow bounces off because Minecraft... All right, and now is he going to shoot at me? He still doesn't see me. Interesting. I wonder if you hit a guy with a bow when you're invisible, if they still can't see you. I didn't try that just, like, back in the overworld. Um, I need to try that. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this gas because I could use the target practice, apparently. And also try not to hit the pig man at the same time. All right, forget that. I... So unfortunately, I haven't encountered any of the other withering skeletons. Uh, and so I haven't been able to fight any more of them. But I actually want to test this now um, with invisibility. So I'm going to go back to the overworld uh, and test invisibility and using a bow and arrow. Because I'm extremely curious about that now. I don't know if it's going to be daytime or nighttime. All right, it's daytime. But we can just hop down into a cave to go fight a mob. I still have, yeah, I still have three minutes of these potions. Uh, so, I will meet you down in a cave, and we will fire some of my remaining 19 arrows at the bad guys. Alright, well, this is interesting. I'm down at Y of 14, and I see it's kind of like a fog haze kicking in once again. And so it seems like the void fog does the opposite when you have night vision potion. You can't see up, it seems like, or see in the distance. Well, actually, let me get to somewhere that's kind of, like, bigger and flat with the void fog. Unfortunately, I ended up in a cave system that's all <laughs> lit up already, and so I haven't found any mobs to fight and shoot arrows at yet. Um, but I found this uh, void fog behavior to be interesting. Um, let's see. Can I get... Is there, like, a bigger open stretch over here? There is not. But yeah, it does seem like there's still, like, void fog that kicks in, but it seems like when you're down here, it almost kicks in more. And no, I guess it doesn't kick in more upwards. It just kicks in at a distance. And once again, it's like when you were in the nether, in terms of, like, the haze being, it's almost like it becomes too bright for you to see or something. Um, all right. Uh, let me go find some bad guys to kill, since that was my original intention, assuming I can find my way back out of this crazy cave. Ah, uh, sigh. I get, like, one little idea in my head, and then another ten ideas present themselves, and I get easily distracted. All right, I only have, like, 12 seconds of invisibility left, but here's a skeleton who, I guess, spawned underneath the thing over here. And so I shot him with an arrow, and he still can't see me. And now, when my invisibility wears out... Yep, now he sees me. All right, and so... Shooting enemies with an arrow while you're invisible seems to be a way that you can attack the enemies and they- whoa, that was dangerous. And they still can't see or attack you. And so that is very interesting. Ah, so many things to do and explore. Some of it in 1.4, some of them specific to the Halloween update. Um, I actually need to go back to the base and resupply. I need to get some more night vision potions and some more... Uh, invisibility potions uh, brewed up, and so I will go do that. All right, I'm brewing up some more potions. Uh, in the previous episode, it occurs to me, I had my sharpness sword that I discovered that I could repair, but it had an enchantment cost, but I never actually 
yeah, verified that it's still just a sharpness one. And so it didn't like in, increase the enchantment or anything like that as well. And so this really seems like it's not worth it. Although I do have, I have like an old diamond pick with uh, better things on it, probably right here. Yeah, here's efficiency three and unbreaking three. And so I'm curious if I put that in here, first of all, I presume I cannot fix it with iron. I presume I would have to fix it with diamond. So that's the first thing that we try to verify. So let me actually get a spare diamond. But then if I did use that with the anvil... Wow, enchantment cost of 17. So yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth it uh, to repair items, really, because I could just enchant a new one, it seems like. So I'm not really sure, other than it's definitely a fun novelty that you can name the item, uh, but I'm unclear if there's any kind of other real value associated with the anvil. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I don't really know. In any case, I've got some other 8-minute potions of invisibility, and I've got some 8-minute night vision potions, and so that is all super cool. And then I guess the other thing I was going to check is just normal item repair still works the same way, even with enchantments, I presume? Yes. And so if I repair two items, I just get back the unenchanted item which is fine. I will just be happy to have another sword. All right, and I'm going to go back into the nether because I'm really determined to kill more of these withering skeletons and, uh, yeah, get a drop. I guess I can drop off this golden sword that a zombie dropped for me. And I do want to have more arrows. I have arrows somewhere. I'm going to grab some more arrows as well. Um, because it may be useful to uh, fight enemies with invisibility possibly that way. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, for the moment, I will just use night vision so that I can actually see my way around the fortress, and I'll make another cut and hopefully be fighting some wither skeletons next time you see me. All right, I think I see some skeletons up ahead. Yes, some skeletons and pigmen. This is the most... I think I see three of them. And I think one of them has... Oh, yeah, I think I already saw one with a... I can't remember if I saw one with a pumpkin on his head. But I'm pretty sure I see one now that has a pumpkin on his head. Uh, but, oops, lag, lag, lag. I got withered. Crap. I don't like this status effect. I don't like not knowing exactly what it's doing to me. Uh, all right, I still have hearts. Okay, great. Oh, he dropped... Is that coal? It must be coal. It looked like coal. All right, so there's a new drop. I'm pretty sure there's still another one over here, and I want to get to him before he despawns. And let's ignore our pigman friend. All right, so we did have an extra large pumpkin on his head. And once again, he dropped nothing. Ah, oh, so frustrating. But it does seem like I can just kind of walk back and forth in this corridor, and eventually some of them spawn. Oh, apparently one of them dropped a bone. That somehow I didn't pick up as well. Uh, so coal was definitely a new drop. I should actually keep, just to double check that that's what it was. I have 43 pieces of coal now and I won't be using any. And so if I get 44 pieces of coal after fighting some more of these guys, then I'll know for sure that that's what it was. But that's what it looked like. I don't see anything else in my inventory. Uh, but I'll make another cut as I find some more. All right, we got some new monsters spawning in the fortress. It looks like a skeleton, a withering skeleton, and a magma cream, magma slime, magma cube. All right, so the skeleton, I have my armor on because I cr created all these invisibility potions. Oh dear, in a blaze. That is not a fourth enemy that I really wanted to see. Although I would love to get the blaze to hit this guy. Oh man, can I get the blaze to shoot this guy? I don't know if the blaze can see me. Yeah, and I really want to get drops from these guys. All right, we got another bone. And it looks like that's it. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure these guys all just spawned in a group. And so there was like one blaze, one magma slime, one skeleton, uh, and one uh, wither skeleton. And so I think perhaps there might be like a nether spawning algorithm. Like I'm just, you know, positing based on my own experience here that the nether spawning algorithm like spawns all of those bad guys together in groups. 
Uh, just like you would spawn a group of like four skeletons or four endermen in the overworld, perhaps you can spawn a group containing any of those guys, which are all rather rare, uh, in a fortress um, together, because it seems like it spawned a group of them together, whereas previously I got a group of like, what was it, three... Here is another one of these guys, I think. Oh no, that's a zombie pigman, isn't it? From a distance, it could be hard to see. Um, yeah, whereas I see the zombie pigmen kind of like spawn in clusters occasionally. So it's definitely, it's very interesting. It's always been the case that whenever I wanted to learn about spawning, I just went to the wiki and I learned about these things. And now that I'm trying to do 1.4 blind and not read the patch notes, it really is actually interesting to try to use the gameplay to then try to reason about all of these new behaviors. Ooh. I hear a skeleton to the right. He might be up top. But let's check over here first. And then I can't remember if the withering skeletons and the normal skeletons have exactly the same clank noise. But I definitely heard a skeleton somewhere up here, I think. Aha! Alright, it's another one of these withering skeletons. And he does have the same clank. Okay. And so, I'm glad, kind of, I mean, I like having more uh, dangerous enemies, but I'm kind of glad that they are as simple to fight as zombies, for the most part, just because I'm so terrified whenever I look at them. Like, they just look so big and evil. Um, that I, I do not like, oh, I hear another one, hold on. Oh, that's a normal skeleton, well, <laughs> as far as you can be normal when you have a pumpkin on your head. Crazy skeleton, shopping cart. Alright, is this another piece of the fortress that I haven't, or does this connect over? I guess there's like another little separate piece. Oh, this is over by the blaze spawner again, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I don't want to get too close to that, because I really don't want to spawn a bunch of blazes. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit longer and see if we can get another drop from the skeletons. But if not, then we need to go visit the end and try out the night vision potion in the end as well. And so that is something else I want to do this episode. All right, I still have a little bit of night vision left for about another minute, and so I want to run to the end and see what night vision looks like in the end, assuming we can get there in time. And so, let's pop down into the stronghold. Let's do a hop, skip, and a jump into the end portal and check out this crazy realm with night vision, and it definitely looks all lit up. Wow! Wow, look at this place! Oh man, the end with the light looks so different. And I wonder if this crazy, uh, you remember this apparition that I saw over here that was like some kind of graphical glitch? Yes, it is still there, and now I can see it lit up. And oh, my night vision is about to wear off. That little flashing of the lights is when there's like 10 seconds left in your night vision. Uh, and so that is just going to wear off. And yeah, that apparition is still there. Apparently it's like some kind of graphical glitch. Oops. There is that sound again. And so is that an angry Enderman? Whoa, that sound is scary. And is it this guy? Did I anger him? He's definitely angry. Uh, and here he comes. Wow! Right, when you look at them, they have to freeze. Wow! That is a not pleasant sound. Um, I think I can kind of hide behind here partially, maybe. Wait, where is he? Um, I'm a little worried that he's going to come after me. Yeah, I'm feeling very scaredy cat right now. Alright, we saw the end. Uh, there's an angry enderman. I'm just going to say goodbye! <laughs> I don't think he can chase me out of the end portal back into this realm. Um, oh, I have 29 levels. Let's go ahead and get up to level 30 uh, and enchant something before we end the episode. Uh, but at this point, I think I may have exhausted all of the things I'm going to be able to figure out on my own. Uh, and so I might end up uh, now starting to read the wiki. Oops. Uh, and do other things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. 
But let's go ahead and easily get up to level 30 somehow. I will kill some chickens to do just that. Hooray! And we get the happy wind chimes. And then we'll throw a bunch of eggs in order to get some more chickens, hopefully. And also enable us to pick up some chicken bodies. And then we'll go and chant a something. I guess probably another diamond pick. It seems like all diamond picks are pretty much the main thing that I ever care to enchant. Hello, chickens. Hello, baby chick. Go back to your mommies. And yeah, we'll end the episode there because at this point, I don't know that there's any other Halloween content to explore. I've played for a couple of hours on Halloween. Um, and I think I've got read through all the hints that you guys have given me thus far. I'm sure there's still some new things to discover, but I might start discovering them on my own by doing some reading. But in any case, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it for the journey of whatever it's been, like five episodes or six episodes that I've done of kind of blind playing through 1.4. And yeah, let me get something prepared to enchant, and we'll finish off today with an enchant. All right, we are ready for a level 30 enchant of a diamond pick. And we will get, zoom, 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 efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, which I think, yeah, is basically the same workhorse pick that I am currently using. The other thing that I was just thinking of, I have feathers. I want to create some more arrows. Um, let's put this away in the enchanted tools bin. Uh, is, do I have a fortune pick? Uh, I know I have a number of fortune picks. Um, let's grab this one that is already partially used. If I use a fortune pick on gravel, will I get more flints out of it? Because I really need to get some more flints in order to make some more arrows. Uh, so I kind of want to try that. And so... Uh, I have plenty of gravel over here, and so I'm just curious to try that out real quick. If I just put some gravel up here, I was putting it on this so that I don't have it right above the sand. But this is the fortune pick, right? Yes, fortune three. Yes! Oh, it gives you a flint every time. Okay, that is really nice. Um, I have 22 feathers, and so I can quickly turn this into 22 pieces of gravel. And at this point, I have enough fortune diamond picks that I am very willing to spend a few of them in order to get easy gravel so I don't have to sit here with a shovel like an idiot, like a common peasant for hours upon end trying to get flints. All right, and so that is really cool. I'm glad that I tried that out. I think someone might have told me that in a comment before, um, and I hadn't paid it much heed up until now. 19, so yeah, let's get 22. And that's great. Then I'll have more than another stack of arrows, which is good, because I've really been running low on arrows in this world. And it's not like arrows are hard to come by. It's just that I'm lazy. So that is super cool. That's where we'll end things for today with the second Halloween episode. And then I think they have like a bug fetch patch release that might also remove the Halloween update uh, that's coming out in the next 24 hours. And so, uh, yeah, maybe we'll see a couple more bug fixes. I wonder if they fix the thing with the dyes when you dye the collars of the wolves. Um, that would be a nice little thing that they could go and fix. But in any case, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.